Hey, what's up everyone? Today, I'm reviewing this. The House of the Dead. Overkill. Aw, oh, this game was made so long ago it's got an instruction manual in the box. Aw, oh, look at that, it's got a backstory. According to this box, it's MA15+, plus. so if you're under 15, don't watch this. Oh, just FYI, this video is going to contain some strong coarse language. What's up, motherfucker? Now, at the time of this game's release, it held the Guinness Book of Records for the most profanities during one game. Shit, man! I think I slept with that bitch! It was released in 2009. In this game, you have three main characters. They call him only G. His identity, a mystery. Agent G is a homicide detective, and he seems to be a straight arrow. A playboy cop. Isaac Washington. Make him mad, and he'll rip your balls off. Isaac Washington, on the other hand, this guy gets kind of vulgar. Marla Guns, a doting sibling to a crippled brother, forced into a life of vice. Now she's filled with a primal hunger for revenge. And of course, Marla Guns. She is pretty. A howling hellcat humping a hot steel arm. But who are we kidding? Isaac Washington sums her up best at the end of the game. Frankly, Casanova, I'd be more worried about reading the past 12 hours as a damning fucking indictment of contemporary feminism. I love how self-aware this game is. Tell my sister I love her. Fuck! How do you say that shit without moving your lip? The thing about zombie games today are, I don't like looking for guns. I don't like running out of ammo. I don't like having to look for more ammo. I don't like stopping to do a puzzle. I just want to shoot everything's brains off. House of Dead Overkill is one of those games you want to be playing with one of these. A Wii Zapper. This will serve as a light gun for the game. I wish there were more light gun games today. Nintendo, get on it. This is a great title that you can just invite your friends over and have a shootout with. It's a beautiful game. I love the design of this game. You can go through the menus and see the clear inspiration from the grindhouse genre. I can't tell you how much I love this game. Even the music feels amazing. This may even be the best Sega game ever made. Now the graphics of this game are so-so, but I think they kind of hold up for the kind of game it is. <laughs> if the graphics are a problem, this game was ported to the PS3 with much better graphics and bonus levels. Now as you play through this game, you'll see a myriad of items that you can shoot to pick up or use. These items are the Golden Brains, Grenades, Slow Mofo Mode, and Health Packs. What's on the menu? Don't ask. In order to 100% complete a level, you need to collect all the golden brains and save all the civilians. I don't want to die like this. Is it wrong to be turned on right now? And kill everything and set the top score and, well, do everything possible. The problem with collecting these golden brains is that they're kind of hard to see at times and you really do need to memorize the level before you go out and shoot them all. There are two main modes to this game, story mode and director's cut. The director's cut is pretty much the same game, just a little more challenging. It'll start you off in different parts of the same levels, and it will take you the long way around instead of the shortcuts you take during story mode. One of the other things I love about this game is its scoring system. The more mutants you kill in a row, the higher your combo meter will go. There are five levels to this combo meter. They are. <laughs> Outside of the story mode and the director's cut, you will be able to find mini games. Now, this is a super fun game. It can be beaten in a couple of hours. And that is House of the Dead Overkill. What do you think of this game? Have you played it? Are you going to pick up a Wii just to play this game? Do you miss light gun games as much as I do? Let me know in the comments below. Bye!